Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to create forms in Angular. Although you can create simple forms in HTML file, but what if you want to extract some information from that form that user have entered? So for that you need to use forms module that Angular provides. So Angular makes object in the backend whenever form is created. So from that object you can extract the information. So let's create a simple form. I have already created one component. You can create component by writing ng-generate command. So in this component, we will create a simple form. So let's write the code for that. Okay, so now I'm creating one division, which is of bootstrap class row. So in this division, I'm creating one more division, which will be of bootstrap class column. So in this column, I'll create a small form. Okay, so after creating divisions, I'll make a simple form. So in this form, three input fields will be there. One will be name, second will be email, and third will be password. Okay, so the user will enter these three information and we will try to extract these three information from the form. Okay, so write input, the type will be text, and let's give some bootstrap class to it. Okay, you can also give placeholder to this input field. Okay. So now our name input field is created. Similarly, you can copy this code and paste because we need three input fields for email as well as password also. Okay, so you can change the type and the placeholder. So type will be email for the email. And similarly for password, it will be the password type. Okay, so now our input fields are created. Now we want to submit the form. For that, we need to create a small button. So create a small button beneath all these three input fields. Okay. So it will be of type submit. So yeah, our form, small form is created now. Okay, you can just save your work and compile it to see whether our form is coming or not. Okay. So save your work and compile it. So we have just right now created a simple form we have not yet uh, tried to extract information we will see that later so yeah our form is created but button is not coming because we haven't given the name so give some name to this button let's say we give submit name okay so now compile and see whether form is coming properly or not okay so yeah our small form is coming now in which three input fields are there and one button is there. Okay, so now what we want is, we want whenever user is entering information like name, email and password in this form, and whenever he is submitting the form, we want to extract that information. So how to do that? So for first, so first you need to import some module for that. So go to app module TypeScript file and import forms module over there, which will help us to do that. Okay, so import this module in the app module TypeScript file and also in the import array write the name of that module okay so now go to the TypeScript file of the component in which we were creating the form and import ng form in it so this ng form directive will help us to uh, bind our form so that we can extract information okay because angular it makes its own form in the back end which will be of type object so by using ng form we can extract the information okay so now we want to bind and provide some controls to these input so that we can extract the information so how to give controls so you just need to write the name attribute and give any name to this control let's say i'm giving name so how to tell angular that this is the name of the control for that you need to write ng model Okay, so this directive will tell Angular that this name attribute that we have given is the name of the control. Similarly, for email and password, I'll do the same thing. Provide the name attribute and write just ng model. Okay, so in this way, you can bind and provide controls to the input fields. Okay. Now, I also want to provide the reference to the form and also want to tell that whenever this form will be submitted, I will want to uh, run particular function. So for that, I'll write ng submit, which is a directive which tells that whenever form will be submitted, what function you need to call. So I'm calling on submit function, 
which I haven't declared, but I'll declare in the TypeScript file. Okay, so I also I'll also reference this form. So how to reference? You just write hash and then any particular name. But this will only give reference to this form. But we want the reference to the object. For that you need to write ng form in the assignment. Okay. So yeah, now everything is done. We haven't created the function, so create the function. That will be called whenever the form will be submitted and this function will take parameter form. Okay, so this will take whole form and it will just log the form details in the console. So as you can see this form is of type ng form. That means our form will be of type object and it will be shown in the console. Okay, you can take the separate value in the value variable or, or you can just directly print it on the console. Okay, so for now we will just log it to the console. Okay, so now everything is done. Let's save your work and compile it. There is some red line beneath the ng form. Yeah, so n will be capital. Okay, now again save your work and compile it. Let's see whether our form is working, whether the details that we are entering in the form that we are able to extract it or not. Okay, so now compile it and it's going to take some time to compile. Okay. So yeah, it's now compiled. Go to your browser and check. Enter de details in this form and try to submit this form. Okay, open the console. You can open the console by typing control shift I. Okay. Now enter some details in this form and try to submit this form and see whether the form details are coming in the console or not. Okay. After entering all these details, try to submit the form. Let's see whether the form details are coming or not. Okay. As you can see, undefined is coming. That means our function is not properly working. So go to your angular project. Okay, as you can see in the on submit function, we haven't passed the form reference. So just write the variable of the reference inside the parameter. Okay, so now everything is done. Compile and save your work and let's see whether it is working properly or not. I'm pretty much sure that it will, it will work now. Okay, wait for a few, few, few seconds. Okay. So yeah, now do the same thing, enter some details in it and after submitting, let's see where the form is coming. So as you can see, form object is coming that Angular has created on its own. So this form will create some bunch of properties that Angular will create on its own. We haven't created all these properties. We have just entered the values. So in the value property, you can see all the values that user have entered in this form. So yeah, as you can see, email name and password that we just entered right now, we are able to extract it. Okay, so in the next video, we will see how to extract these information from this ng form object and how to use validation. Thank you.